creating a critical path. Larry Jeffers Race Cars and the Nitro Madness, a critical path adventure. Enhanced edition, Larry Jeffers Race Cars are laser focused on dominating the upcoming Nitro Madness drag races with their legendary car, the Ivor Rebuild Woodpecker. Every millisecond counts, and to achieve victory, they need a meticulously crafted critical path to shave precious days off their engine overhaul process. Here's how Larry Jeffers can leverage critical path analysis with even more detailed specifics, building the critical path, capture all tasks, disassemble engine, 1.75 days, carefully remove all 24 engine components for inspection and rebuild. This includes removing the cylinder heads, 0.5 days, intake and exhaust manifolds, 0.4 days, crankshaft and pistons, 0.75 days, and other miscellaneous components, 0.1 days. Clean and inspect components, 0.75 days, meticulously clean each of the 24 components using a high-powered ultrasonic cleaner, 0.5 days, and inspect for wear and tear using specialized calipers and the microscopes, 0.25 days. Identify parts requiring replacement, considering a tolerance range of plus slash 0.002 mm. Calibrate high performance fuel injectors, 3.25 days. Ensure precise fuel delivery for maximum power output by performing a multi-stage flow test on a specialized injector flow bench, 2.75 days. This involves measuring fuel flow rate at various pressures, 0.25 days, and cleaning or replacing malfunctioning injectors, 0.25 days, to achieve a targeted flow rate consistency of plus slash minus 2%. Critical task, rebuild finicky supercharger, 4.25 days. Restore the supercharger to peak performance by replacing specific wear items based on inspection results. This may include bearings, 0.75 days, compressor wheel, 1.25 days, and drive belt, 0.25 days. Perform a meticulous internal cleaning, 1.5 days, and ensure a pressure ratio of 2.2 to 1 within a tolerance of plus slash 0.05, 0.5 days. Critical task, replace spark plugs. 0.4 days, install eight new iridium spark plugs with a precise gap of 0.08 mm, critical for optimal ignition. This can be done concurrently with other tasks. Machine cylinder heads, 1.25 days, if required, depending on inspection results, machine the cylinder heads for a perfect mating surface with the engine block. This surfacing process, one day, ensures optimal compression and minimizes the risk of leaks. Flatness tolerance is plus slash minus 0.001 mm, 0.25 days. Torque cylinder head bolts, 1.1 days. Tighten the 16 cylinder head bolts to precise specifications in a specific sequence using a calibrated torque wrench. This multi-step process ensures proper engine block seal and minimizes the risk of warping, 0.8 days. The final torque value is 90 pounds to feet, with a tolerance of plus slash minus 5 pounds to feet, 0.3 days. Critical task, reassemble engine, 1.8 days, carefully put the engine back together, ensuring all components are properly aligned and torqued to specification. This includes reinstalling cylinder heads, intake and exhaust manifolds, crankshaft and pistons, and other miscellaneous components. Test engine performance, 1 day, verify engine functionality and power output on a dynamometer test stand. This involves running the engine under simulated load conditions and measuring horsepower, torque and air fuel ratio. Set dependencies, cleaning and inspection depend on engine disassembly. Reassembly depends on completed tasks and parts availability. Machining cylinder heads depends on inspection results. Calibrating injectors and rebuilding the supercharger can be done concurrently. Spark plug replacement can be done concurrently with other tasks. Torquing cylinder head bolts depends on component cleaning, inspection, and possible machining. Engine testing depends on engine reassembly. Create a network diagram. Imagine a network diagram where disassembly splits into separate tasks for each component group, cylinder heads, manifolds, crankshaft, etc. These converge into a cleaning and inspection task. The path then splits again. One path goes to inject a calibration, 3.25 days, and then merges with the supercharger rebuild, 4.25 days. The other path goes to spark plug replacement, 0.4 days, and then, if required, cylinder head machining, 1.25 days, before rejoining the main path for cylinder head torquing, 1.1 days. Both paths then converge into engine reassembly, 1.8 days, and finally, engine testing, 1 day. Make time estimates, 
These are Larry Jeffers initial estimates based on experience and consultations with key mechanics, disassemble engine, 1.75 days, clean and inspect components, 0.75 days, calibrate high performance fuel injectors, 3.25 days, consider the critical task due to its impact on performance, rebuild finicky supercharger, 4.25 days, another critical task, as a faulty supercharger can significantly reduce horsepower, replace spark plugs, 0.4 days, machine cylinder heads, 1.25 days, if required, torque cylinder head bolts, 1.1 days, critical task to ensure proper engine seal and prevent leaks, reassemble engine, 1.8 days, test engine performance, 1 day, total estimated critical path duration, 14.85 days finding the critical path, the critical path is the longest sequence of dependent tasks, totaling 14.85 days in this case, it includes, Disassemble engine, 1.75 days, clean and inspect components, 0.75 days, calibrate high performance fuel injectors, 3.25 days, rebuild finicky supercharger, 4.25 days, torque cylinder head bolts, 1.1 days, reassemble engine, 1.8 days, test engine performance, 1 day, optimizing the critical path, with a critical path exceeding 2 weeks. Larry Jeffers recognizes the need for optimization to compete effectively at Nitro Madness. Here are some strategies, concurrent work, explore if any tasks within the critical path can be done partially concurrently. For example, some disassembly tasks might be overlapped with the initial cleaning process. Over time or additional mechanics, consider allocating additional resources, mechanics, to critical tasks like injector calibration and supercharger rebuild. This could potentially reduce their combined duration by working some tasks concurrently within each. However, this approach requires careful planning to avoid bottlenecks or quality compromises. Expedited parts procurement, identify any parts with long lead times and explore expedited shipping options to minimize delays during reassembly. Revise critical path, with optimization, by implementing some of these strategies, Larry Jeffers might be able to shave off a day or two from the critical path. Here's a possible revised scenario. Disassemble engine, 1.5 days, achieved through overlapping some tasks with cleaning, clean and inspect components, 0.75 days, calibrate high performance fuel injectors, 2.75 days, potentially reduced time through additional resources, rebuild finicky supercharger, 4 days, potentially reduced time through additional resources, torque cylinder head bolts, 1.1 days, reassemble engine, 1.8 days, test engine performance, 1 day. Total revised critical path duration, 12.1 days by shaving off 2.75 days, Larry Jeffers gains valuable time for last-minute adjustments and testing, increasing their chances of achieving peak performance with the Ivory rebuild with Echo at Nitro Madness. Conclusion, Larry Jeffers race cars, armed with a well-defined critical path and a commitment to optimization, can streamline their engine overhaul process. This meticulous approach gives them the edge they need to compete at the Nitro Madness drag races and potentially rewrite racing history. In the project management metaphors, the eagle is actually connected to project planning, not the critical path itself. The critical path is a concept identified during project planning, but it's a separate element. It doesn't have a direct animal metaphor assigned to it. Here's a corrected breakdown, eagle, project planning, soaring high like an eagle signifies a comprehensive overview of the project during the planning phase critical path, this is the longest sequence of dependent tasks identified during project planning. Creating a critical path, your project roadmap to success the critical path is the backbone of your project schedule, highlighting the essential tasks that determine your project's completion date. It's like a roadmap, guiding you through the project's journey and ensuring you arrive at the finish line on time. Why it's critical, identifies essential tasks, focuses on the core activities that must be completed for project success. Estimates project duration, provides a realistic timeline for completing the project. Highlights potential delays, reveals which tasks can impact the overall schedule if not finished on time. Helps manage resources, aids in allocating resources efficiently and ensuring you have the right people and materials available when needed. Establishes project baselines, sets a benchmark for measuring project progress and identifying deviations. Provides flexibility insights. Shows areas where the schedule can be adjusted without impacting the finish date. Building your critical path, capture all tasks, identify all the activities required to complete your project. Use your work breakdown structure, WBS, as a starting point. Focus on essential tasks, not nice-to-haves. Set dependencies, 
determine the order in which tasks must be completed. Ask yourself, which tasks need to be finished before others can begin. Identify tasks that can be done concurrently. Create a network diagram. Visualize the sequence of tasks and dependencies. Use arrows to represent tasks and their connections. Highlight the critical path are the longest sequence of dependent tasks. Include essential tasks and their durations. Optionally, show non-essential tasks for reference. Make time estimates. Consult stakeholders to get realistic time estimates for each task. Inaccurate estimates can significantly impact the critical path. Be prepared to revise estimates as the project progresses. Find the critical path. Calculate the total duration of tasks on the critical path. This is the minimum time required to complete the project. Tasks outside the critical path have some slack, buffer time, and can be delayed slightly without impacting the finish date. Unveiling the critical path methods, forward pass, start at the beginning, add task durations on the critical path to reach the end. Backward pass, start at the end, work backward to identify the shortest path to completion. Critical path methods provide advanced techniques for calculating critical path details like earliest start dates, the earliest possible date a task can begin. Latest start dates, the latest possible date a task can begin without delaying the project. Slack, the amount of time a task can be delayed without impacting the project schedule. By following these steps and exploring critical path methods, you can create a reliable roadmap for your project, ensuring a smooth journey to success. The Critical Path Method in Project Management, Your Guide Larry Jeffers Race Cars, Exploring Critical Path Method, CPM, with a drag racing scenario. Revving up the red-winged blackbird with CPM. Larry Jeffers Race Cars is in a time crunch. With only 14 days until the prestigious Nitro Madness drag races, their top fuel dragster, the red-winged blackbird, needs a complete engine overhaul to achieve its record-breaking performance. Here's how Larry utilizes the critical path method, CPM, to ensure the Blackbird soars past the competition. Tasks and tight deadlines, disassemble engine, three days, requires meticulous removal of all components for inspection and rebuild. Clean and inspect components, two days, each part undergoes a thorough cleaning with a minimum 95% efficiency check for wear and tear. Calibrate high-performance fuel injectors, four days. Specialized tools ensure plus slash minus 2% precision in fuel delivery, a crucial factor in maximizing engine power. Dependent on disassemble engine, rebuild finicky supercharger, 5 days, this delicate task demands Larry's most skilled mechanic, Mechanic C, to achieve optimal performance with a boost pressure target of 14.7 pounds per square inch. Dependent on disassemble engine, machine block and heads, 2 days. High precision machining ensures tolerances within plus slash 0.001 inches, optimizing airflow and power output. Dependent on disassemble engine, reassemble engine, two days, the meticulously cleaned and inspected components are carefully reassembled following precise specifications to achieve zero leakage. Dependent on clean and inspect components, rebuild finicky supercharger, and machine block and heads, dyno tune engine, one day. The engine undergoes dynamometer testing to fine-tune performance and ensure a perfect air-fuel ratio of 14.7 to 1. Dependent on reassemble engine, critical path analysis, the race against time. The critical path analysis reveals a critical sequence of tasks totaling 11 days, disassemble engine, 3 days, greater than rebuild finicky supercharger, 5 days, greater than reassemble engine, 2 days, greater than dyno tune engine, 1 day. Any delays in these tasks will directly impact race day. Strategic resource allocation, Larry assigns his mechanic strategically, mechanic A, leads disassembly, three days, and assists with reassembly, one day. Mechanic B, cleans and inspects components, two days, prioritizing critical parts for reassembly. Mechanic C, highly skilled, tackles the intricate supercharger rebuild, five days. All mechanics, collaborate on the one-day dyno tuning for final adjustments. Float in risk management, anticipating the unexpected tasks outside the critical path have some slack, float, to absorb minor delays, clean and inspect components, two days, has one day of float before reassembly engine begins. Mechanic B will prioritize cleaning critical components to minimize risk. Machine block and heads, two days, has seven days of float, providing a buffer. Larry proactively addresses potential challenges, broken engine component, one day impact. A one-day delay might occur if a critical component needs replacement during disassembly. 
Mechanic B is prepared to prioritize cleaning a replacement part to minimize downtime. Supercharger part delay, two-day impact, an unforeseen delay acquiring a specific supercharger part could push the critical path to 13 days, exceeding the deadline. Larry has identified alternative suppliers and initiated expedited shipping to mitigate this risk. CPM, a winning formula for Larry Jeffers race cars by implementing CPM, Larry gains a data-driven approach to the red-winged Blackbird overhaul. The critical path analysis empowers him to visualize the workflow. The CPM schedule acts as a roadmap, highlighting potential bottlenecks and ensuring a smooth workflow. Prioritize tasks. Focusing on the critical path tasks ensures timely completion of the most crucial engine components. Optimize resource allocation. Assigning mechanics strategically based on their expertise and the critical path maximizes efficiency. Mitigate risks. Float calculations and contingency plans allow Larry to proactively identify and address potential issues before they derail the project. With a clear plan, proactive risk management, and the dedication of his crew, Larry Jeffers' race cars are well positioned to get the red-winged Blackbird back on track and achieve peak performance at the Nitro Madness drag races. The roar of the engine and the checkered flag await. The critical path method in project management, a summary this article provides a comprehensive overview of the critical path method. CPM, in project management. Here are the key takeaways. What is the critical path method, CPM? CPM is a project management technique for planning, scheduling, and managing tasks to complete a project. It identifies the longest sequence of dependent tasks, which is called the critical path. Delays in critical path tasks directly impact the project deadline. Benefits of using CPM, clear project visualization. Creates a flowchart depicting task sequence and duration for better understanding. Identification of critical tasks, helps prioritize tasks and proactively manage potential delays. Risk identification and mitigation, highlights potential bottlenecks for proactive risk management. Improved team communication, provides a visual representation for team members to understand their roles and impact. Steps to calculate the critical path, identify all project tasks. Create a work breakdown structure listing all activities needed for project completion. Determine task sequence. Identify dependencies between tasks, specifying which tasks need to be completed before others can begin. Estimate task duration. Assign a time estimate to each task, considering potential delays. Draw a network diagram. Visually represent all tasks, their sequence, and dependencies. Identify the critical path. Find the longest path through the network diagram representing the minimum project completion time. Calculate float, determine the slack or buffer time for non-critical tasks to identify scheduling flexibility. Monitor the critical path, closely monitor critical path tasks to avoid project delays. Example of using CPM, the article provides a real-life example of planning a party using CPM. It highlights how to identify critical tasks, calculate project duration, and manage dependencies. CPM versus BERT CPM is deterministic, assuming fixed task durations, suitable for predictable projects. PERT is probabilistic, considering three time estimates for each task, suitable for projects with uncertain durations. Success stories of CPM, the Hoover Dam, effective use of CPM principles, though not formally defined yet, led to its completion two years ahead of schedule. Apollo 11 moon landing. CPM helped NASA manage complex tasks and ensure timely progress during critical mission phases. The Big Dig, CPM facilitated project organization, resource allocation, and milestone tracking for this large-scale infrastructure project. How Reich can help with CPM, Reich automatically calculates the critical path based on task start, end dates, durations, and dependencies. It offers a pre-built project scheduling template with a Gantt chart for critical path visualization and resource management. Overall, CPM is a valuable tool for project managers to improve planning, risk mitigation, resource allocation, and team collaboration. Larry Jeffers Race Cars, Applying Critical Path Method, CPM, Nitrous Boost Upgrade Edition Let's revisit Larry Jeffers Race Cars, but this time they're not just building a new engine. They're installing a cutting-edge nitrous oxide injection system for an extra performance boost. Here's the revamped scenario with even more measurable specifics. Scenario, Larry Jeffers Race Cars is installing a high-performance engine and a nitrous oxide, NOx, injection system for their upcoming race car. Here's a breakdown of the tasks involved, with estimated times and costs. Task A, disassemble old engine, duration, 2 days, cost, 
$500, labor. Task B, inspect engine block for cracks, duration, one day, cost, $200, inspection fees, dependent on A. Task C, order new high compression pistons, duration, three days, cost, $2,000, parts, can be done concurrently with B. Task D, machine engine block for increased airflow, duration, five days, cost, $1,500, machining, dependent on B. Task E, clean and prep engine components for high performance use, duration, two days, cost, $300, cleaning supplies, can be done concurrently with C. Task F, assemble new engine block, duration, four days, cost, $800, labor, dependent on D. Task G, install new high compression pistons, duration, one day, cost, $100, labor, dependent on C. Task H, install nitrous oxide injection system, duration, four days, cost, $1. Oh, 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 parts installation, can be done concurrently with F. Task I, test and calibrate nitrous oxide system for optimal performance, duration, two days, cost, $400, technician dyno time, dependent on H. Task J, Install remaining engine components and connect nitrous system, duration, 3 days, cost, $600, labor, dependent on FI. Applying CPM. Identify activities, we already have the activities listed, AJ. Identify dependencies. Task B depends on A finishing, engine block needs to be disassembled before inspection. Task D depends on B finishing, engine block needs to be inspected before machining for airflow. Task F depends on D finishing, machined block needed for assembly. Task G depends on C finishing, new pistons need to be delivered before installation. Task H can be done concurrently with F, independent. Task I depends on H finishing, nitrous system needs to be installed before calibration. Task J depends on both F, assembled block, and I, calibrated nitrous system, being finished. Create a network diagram. We can use project management software or a simple chart to depict the network diagram. Here's a textual representation. Disassemble engine, A, 2 days, $500. V. Inspect block, B, 1 day, $200. V. Order pistons, C, 3 days, $2,000, concurrent. Machine block, D, 5 days, $1,500. V. Clean components, E, 2 days. $300, concurrent. Assemble block, F, 4 days, $800. V install nitrous, H, 4 days, $1000, concurrent. Install pistons, G, 1 day, $100. V test nitrous, I, 2 days, $400, dependent on H. Install components, J, 3 days, $600, dependent on FI. Estimate duration, we already have the estimated durations for each task, in days. Calculate the critical path. The critical path is still the longest sequence of dependent tasks. In this case, the critical path is, A, greater than B, greater than D, greater than F, greater than J, 14 days. Explanation, continued, similar to the previous scenario, task C, order pistons, E, clean components, G, install pistons, and H. Install nitrous system, can be done concurrently, saving time. This doesn't affect the critical path because these tasks are not dependent on each other. The critical path, ABDFJ, remains at 14 days. This is the minimum time needed to complete the engine and nitrous system installation, assuming no delays occur. Any delays in these tasks will directly impact the project completion date. Float, optional. Float is the amount of time a non-critical task can be delayed without affecting the project completion date. We can calculate the float for each task using the network diagram and critical path. However, for illustrative purposes, let's focus on task I, test nitrous system. Since task I depends on the completion of task H, install nitrous system, which is part of the critical path, task I has zero float. Any delay in testing and calibrating the nitrous system, I will directly push back the final installation, J, and the overall project completion date. Benefits of using CPM, identify the critical path, knowing the critical path, 14 days, 
allows Larry Jeffers race cars to focus resources and attention on these tasks to ensure the engine and nitro system are ready on time. Visualize dependencies, the network diagram helps visualize how tasks are interrelated, highlighting areas for potential time savings through concurrent activities. Identify potential bottlenecks, tasks on the critical path are potential bottlenecks. Here, machining the engine block, D, takes five days, which is a significant portion of the critical path. Exploring ways to expedite this task, for example, outsourcing, could be beneficial. Improve resource allocation, knowing float allows for better resource allocation. Mechanics can focus on critical tasks, disassembly, machining, assembly, while other tasks, ordering parts, cleaning, can be delegated or scheduled with some flexibility. Conclusion by using the critical path method, Larry Jeffers race cars can effectively plan and schedule their engine and nitrous system installation. Focusing on the critical path, 14 days, ensures they meet their race deadline. Additionally, the float in some tasks allows for some scheduling flexibility and resource optimization. This comprehensive approach increases their chances of success and a potential nitrous boosted victory. The critical path method in project management. A summary this article provides a comprehensive overview of the critical path method, CPM, in project management. Here are the key takeaways. What is the critical path method, CPM? CPM is a project management technique for planning, scheduling, and managing tasks to complete a project. It identifies the longest sequence of dependent tasks, which is called the critical path. Delays in critical path tasks directly impact the project deadline. Benefits of using CPM Clear project visualization, creates a flowchart depicting task sequence and duration for better understanding. Identification of critical tasks, helps prioritize tasks and proactively manage potential delays. Risk identification and mitigation, highlights potential bottlenecks for proactive risk management. Improved team communication, provides a visual representation for team members to understand their roles and impact. Steps to calculate the critical path, identify all project tasks. Create a work breakdown structure listing all activities needed for project completion. Determine task sequence. Identify dependencies between tasks, specifying which tasks need to be completed before others can begin. Estimate task duration. Assign a time estimate to each task, considering potential delays. Draw a network diagram. Visually represent all tasks, their sequence, and dependencies. Identify the critical path. Find the longest path through the network diagram representing the minimum project completion time. Calculate float, determine the slack or buffer time for non-critical tasks to identify scheduling flexibility. Monitor the critical path, closely monitor critical path tasks to avoid project delays. Example of using CPM, the article provides a real-life example of planning a party using CPM. It highlights how to identify critical tasks, calculate project duration, and manage dependencies. CPM versus BERT CPM is deterministic, assuming fixed task durations, suitable for predictable projects. PERT is probabilistic, considering three time estimates for each task, suitable for projects with uncertain durations. Success stories of CPM, the Hoover Dam, effective use of CPM principles, though not formally defined yet, led to its completion two years ahead of schedule. Apollo 11 moon landing. CPM helped NASA manage complex tasks and ensure timely progress during critical mission phases. The Big Dig, CPM facilitated project organization, resource allocation, and milestone tracking for this large-scale infrastructure project. How Reich can help with CPM, Reich automatically calculates the critical path based on task start, end dates, durations, and dependencies. It offers a pre-built project scheduling template with a Gantt chart for critical path visualization and resource management. Overall, CPM is a valuable tool for project managers to improve planning, risk mitigation, resource allocation, and team collaboration. How to use critical path method for complete beginners, with examples critical path method, getting started in CPM CPA. The critical path method, CPM, is a technique for analyzing, planning, and scheduling large complex projects. It is used to determine a project's critical path of the longest sequence of tasks that must be finished for the entire project to be complete. Here are the key steps to using the critical path method. Identify activities based on WBS. Identify all dependencies. Create a network diagram. Estimate the duration of each activity. Calculate the critical path, optional, 
Determine floats.